day everyone my name is Olali Brian Gwenshala now welcome to a very interesting class in commerce today we are going to talk about history trade but before I move further you need to know what are the lesson objective for this class number one we are going to be explaining what history trade means second we're going to be talking about what are the importance of history trade to commerce so let's begin before we can talk about what is trade is what is actually trade trade has so many definitions but in the layman term you can also say trade can be defined as an activity of exchange of buying and selling of goods and services between two parties yes that is just a very simple term what trade is now if you are able to understand what trade is by exchanging of goods and services buying doing your transaction between two or more person then you should be able to understand that that's actually trade then we cannot move to how is to trade has to be involved now according to our lesson just which I stated earlier on let us understand what is the meaning of is to trade is to trade is a channel or a bridge that hits in the effectiveness of business to be carried out very well without no obstacles. Why do I have to say so? Because this is to trade makes it easy for trade to go smooth and steady without no issues. Now let's move let us move a little step further. What are the examples of is to trade? We have eight of them. Starting with transportation. Pen, pen, pen. Mm. Papo, papo. On the road. It can be a plane. We have advertising where people walk like for example in Yoruba they will say era gari e or era omo if you for sure or you know this kind of to get attention that is advertising we can even state this concern like in translation let me translate what i just made in the advertising aspects the advertising that you should buy bread so you can use to drink a tea or buy omo a detergent to wash your clothes and mode of advertising we have insurance that is secured against risk we have tourism visiting of historical places like Olomorok in Abekutango state we also have warehousing where we can keep our goods till they are wanted by consumers and just like that communication the last one the hate of communicating of discussing receiving from one end to another now let us take them one by one how they are important to business now before I proceed to explain each and every one that I've mentioned earlier on how they are important to the world of commerce we can also claim that its trade can also be mentioned as auxiliary to trade or channels of trade now what are the importance of this eight previous ones that I've mentioned let me start with transportation transportation is the movement of one place to another making use of vehicles or maybe like an airplane you know as far as you can move from one place to another maybe by walking or by taking us or you know those are the olden days the 18th century you know the transportation before the invention of cars and bicycles the bikes the cycles and so on and so forth and plane to mode of movement too that is transportation now how is transportation important to commerce to trade actually now when we pack our goods that we want to move from one place to another that is how important how important uh transportation is so to make it easier to get to the actual destination now what about communication communication is where we're able to communicate you know i want to call my customer hey do you need uh bread do you need you know 
tea, do you need Milo or you know, so things like that so that you can know they can tell you okay we need the social packet, they can bring it. That is communication to make it easier to communicate. Insurance, we can't be doing business, we know there is all actually risk maybe by robbery, fire, all this kind of you no know, uh disastrous event so insurance is there to prevent you know when distance happened you, they, like a backup you know system when you, you, your system crashes you back up your financial um goods your money so it's back up when this event actually happened advertising you you create awareness to people that yes you are, you are selling things like that if you are selling bread and you don't advertise who go buy who will buy it from you nobody will buy it from you you have to shout you have to create awareness ah, i am selling bread that's how it is done get it done you no know, we also have um tourism yeah but when we when people like nigerians for example i'd like to go to dubai you know, to go and see uh but khalifa the highest dollars building no second you know when we travel and when we are foreigners coming over here to Olu Morocco, it kind of creates a kind of um now the, the mode of Oh, there are people coming in, paying, bringing people in. It's a good of advertising Nigeria, or advertising Ogu State to people outside Nigeria. That wow, Nigeria also have a uh, place of tourism where people can come in and trade. We also actually see things they can buy too. Also, and warehousing that is, I have I'm a producer, I have a lot of goods or to sell. At a large quantity, but I can't just bring them out like that because I don't know whether my customers need it. So when I communicate with my, you know, my customer or my dealer that okay, I have so so I think I need to buy it. Okay, yeah, bring it on. Then I will now bring them. My way out or where finally my retailer or my customer say, ah, okay, they're not really here because the ones that they are they, they are using is not finish it. I can skip them inside the way out. So that's what way I was all about. Now in summary, what you have done, you have, have explained what um, trade is, right, for previous to or people to understand what is to trade is. I, I talk about um, is to trade each one of them, and I hope you enjoy this little lesson of mine. I'll be available if there's any question or any feedback. Thank you very much.